Boxing unites, racism divides. It's not the kind of sign you're accustomed to seeing at a boxing club. But here in Sheffield, England, that's the attitude. There's nothing like coming to a place where you're a part of a community like a boxing world, like when you're a part of the boxing community and you walk through the doors and you're welcomed as a local because they all know that you've got a warrior's heart. And that's what they've got here in Sheffield at the Sheffield Boxing Center. And I can't wait to show you what I've seen. Glenn Rhodes, MBE. For those of you who don't know what that is, it's a member of the British Empire. <laughs> this is a, this is a very important honor. And you've got uh, pictures here. Uh, with Prince Charles and uh, receiving that MBE and uh, I guess we could just start there. I didn't know this. You can tell me how, uh, no, I mean, I, I'm the last one to find out, you know, sometimes I'm slow on the uptake. Well, now you know. You can tell me how this uh, honor be got bestowed upon you. Oh, God. Well, when I retired from boxing in 1993, I didn't know what to do, so I set up this place in uh, 1994. We've been here since then. We've had so many guys come through here. Um, and go on to better things, you know, be, become better people. But one of the things that we're all proud of is the fact that uh, we've raised over £300,000 for charities, various charities. There's a lot of certificates down there, mainly children's charities, because, you know, we all we all got children's charities deep at heart, we all got kids. So a lot of the money that we've raised in the past has been for children's charities. So together, as a gym, we've raised over three hundred grand, which is an unbelievable amount. And uh, I got the MBA for that, but I feel a bit privileged to have done it because it wasn't just me that raised the 300 grand, it was the gym together as a collective being, if you know what I mean. But thankfully, I got the MBE. First of all, we got to find out who these young fighters are Archer, Molly, Nafel, Harry. <laughs> guys, you guys are all different shapes, sizes, ages. Tell me, first of all, why you're in the boxing gym. It's a Saturday, it's sunny outside, you could be doing anything, you could be playing any sport. Why boxing? Because you can train more better than if you if someone plays you can play him back. <laughs> it's fun. It's just fun. That works. It is fun. It is fun. What's fun about it? Uh, it's very right entertaining. Now boxing is not about beating people up, right? You know what I mean? Not in the street or at school. This is that's what you're not supposed to do. So when you're boxing in the gym here and you're learning the to, to fighting skills, does it help you not get into fights outside the gym? Yeah. Yeah. How many uh, how many of you wanna be like professional fighters? Is this just fun for you? Raise your hands if you guys wanna actually fight. Really? Not you. What do you wanna do not boxing? Street dancing. Street dancing. Well, you're going to learn some footwork in here then. That'll help you out quite a bit. Well, what I've seen today, you're not just raising money for children, but you're raising the children themselves. Yeah. I stepped in the gym this morning. It's a Saturday morning. It's a beautiful day outside. Sun shining, you know, a little breeze, and all these kids weren't thinking about anything going on outside this boxing gym. They were in here giving their whole effort. They were giving you their full attention. Right. The gym was packed. There wasn't, you know, a, a, a spot on the floor left to be had. So there's something special about what's happening here and what you're doing here. What is it that gives you the inspiration to get up and spend every day in this gym and giving back to the kids and the community in the way that you do? Well, one of the things that people always ask you as a boxing trainer, what's, the, what's one of your greatest things that you've ever achieved? Recently, three weeks ago, we had a guy win the Commonwealth title. Now that kid's been here since he was 11 years old. He's gone on, he's now 28. He's gone on, you know, come through the amateurs, through the pros, and he just won a, a 12 round fight against a tough African, so he's now a Commonwealth champion. We've had other champions in the gym, but uh, one of the things that gives me a lot of pleasure is when you get a kid comes to your gym, you know, 11 years old, like this morning, he don't know his left foot from his right foot, he stays in the yeah, gym. Yeah, I don't appreciate you talking about me like that. No, I yeah. did pretty good in there. You did quite good, you did good. <laughs>
kinds, all shapes, all sizes, all. You've seen the motto, our motto, boxing unites, racism divides. And that's one of the other things that we're quite proud of in here. We have all kinds of people coming in here. And everybody just gets along. We've all got one thing in common, and that's wanting to come and box. And that's it. Well, I'm one of those people. I count myself among that number. I seen that sign outside, actually, uh, yesterday when I was walking by. And it was uh, profound to me because, you know, it's no reason to put that out there except for that it's what's really in your heart you know so the sign it, it says boxing unites racism divides racism divides boxing unites and uh, it's true because of all the gyms I've been to all over the world that's the one thing it, it's a common denominator in here no matter what it is where you're from who you are if you get into this boxing ring right here all of that kind of goes out the window and it's mano y mano and at the end of that fight sportsmen respect each other sure. that racism that you know nationalism all that stuff you know that you've fought another man. Exactly. And these are the kind of things that are taught here in this gym at Sheffield Boxing Center. I walked through that door and I climbed through those ropes with you. you did. And, uh, Press ups for coming late. Yeah. <laughs> Try and instill a bit of discipline in kids. You know, when we start at 10 o'clock, we start at 10 o'clock. If you come late, you're doing your press up. And when we go to training camps, exactly the same. We just come back from Jersey and we say breakfast time is 8 o'clock or dinner time or whatever. You turn up late and wherever you are, that's where you do your press ups. And that makes the kids realize, you know, you better get the fingers out or you're doing the press ups. <laughs> There's a lot of camaraderie and bonding goes on in this gym. I didn't know a soul when I walked through the door. Nobody's name. I'd never met anyone before, but they all circled around the gym. They cheered me on when I was doing the uh, mid work and they gave me a good ribbon and made the thing go along and now there's a bond there like whenever I see these guys anytime in the future we at least have that moment and that's what boxing is about that's what Glenn Rhodes MBE is about and this is what it is to be in a boxing gym anywhere in the world but today we're here in Sheffield at Sheffield Boxing Center it's an honor to be here it's a pleasure to watch your work and I appreciate you welcoming me through those doors yeah anytime listen anytime and I've got a present for you right. so you uh, look at this Look at this. SBC unit. That's what we are. Although when you box, it's, it's an individual thing once you're climbing that ring. But what we are here is a unit. And that's it. When our guys fight, we, we, we all will go to support them, no matter who it is. Like I say, all the guys who were training today, we don't care. Like I say, the guy who um, won the Commonwealth title, he'll train alongside a little kid that's never had a fight. Um, and that's what we are, a unit. While I'm on, if I could just say one thing as well. We had Errol Spence training in here last week. Uh, Errol and his people are lovely people. Uh, it's been a pleasure to have him in the gym and good luck to both fighters and I hope they both come away safe. Well, I can't wait to put this thing on so we're going to keep this rolling and let me, let me change my life right here. This moment will be captured on camera forever. That's it. You it, baby. That's it. Glenn Rhodes, MBE, Radio Rahim, SBC, signing out from Sheffield. The unit.